the adventures block got a little something from Costco here I don't know if you can guess it what it is but uh something else for your yard but a bing but a boom check that out it's by the bond company it's a Bloomington cascading cup fountain it's got 31 of these little cups on there it stands 5.42 feet which is 1.65 meters because I'm 5'9 so it's a little bit taller it's still construction with rust resistant copper painted finish beautiful plate metal I kind of see it. okay. it's got waterfall sounds to it it's got amber beads that you get a quick side of here it's outdoor uh, tested with the safety off pump I'll just show you what you get in here this is $200 at Costco right now so go down and get yourself one because sometimes these things go quick Never seen one like this before, so that'd be kind of cool. I guess I'll put the base in the ground so it just sits in there firmly. So just on the old cut some grass today, got the cup cadet zero turn there. into it here. This is made out of some type of metal too. Okay, you got some hardware in here. You got an instruction book. But... So what I'm going to do is, hopefully, I dug a hole in the ground so this can sit in further. <coughs> Keep the walls from maybe caving in on it. Oh well, it's gonna work. It's gonna work or not. I didn't dig it out big enough. I'll be right back with you. I'm just gonna dig this out a little bit bigger. It's like okay, we did a little bit more digging. We got that piece in. I just got this. Got a bunch of pieces in here, so we're just gonna see how this goes together. You guys always say, you don't read the instructions, so be prepared to be bored. <laughs> <laughs> OK, 
Chain for future reference, read carefully so. For outdoor use only. Remove all packaging from parts, connect the two long flexible holes with water flow control valve. Inside, do not throw away. <laughs> there be some real stupid people out there. Are you kidding me? Some tough oh. tape. Oh, what do you got hurt? There we go. Got a good port 
of cord, maybe five foot because of this box. Probably at least between four and five feet. We'll just go with that. and minus. These ones I would say just straight up and down that means they're open. And if they're sideways they'd be closed so we're gonna leave it at a fast rate. Okay and then block the drain hole at the bottom of the fountain base. So it's just gonna be with one of these white plugs. Wow. Let's shake it out so we got this crap out of it. Good enough, I guess. Unless you want to vacuum it. Okay, so next we're going to do this cord's going to come out. There's this big hole over here. Your cord's gonna poke out through that. Let this whole 55 year old man get up. <laughs> and then inside here it's got a max fill line. So you want to fill it up to water right to that that line, that's the maximum. These look like they're already they're self-tapping. I'm just gonna take this. Get a cord to come through there. Cords out the back. Let's get these on the back this side. Gonna stick to the bottom. Now we just wait to sit in here. Looks like all the things lining up. I don't know what these plugs are for. Oh, that's probably to cover these holes after. So they give you one extra plug for something. You're going to want to take your bolts, put a washer on, just drop them into these holes. Don't want to tighten them all down just yet, just get one going. Because then sometimes if this moves around, you're not going to line them up at the end. I don't know if it matters which way is it facing. I think you're still going to see the whole show regardless. Three. I don't think we can get instructions anymore. We'll keep them. No, I can put them back in the bag.
probably prefer if we just stand it straight up and down because you're just going to run into problems doing it sideways. Snug it down a bit. Yeah, I got dirt on me from digging that hole deeper. What I did, I put a styrofoam in so the earth won't cave down around it. With the high winds we get around here, my way of thinking, if I put it in the ground a bit and put a bit of dirt around it, it should kind of hold the firm, but firmly hold it in place so if it gets windy, even with the water, it's not going to be so teetery. We'll see, because we'll, we'll have this running by the end of the video and show you the, the magic of a fountain. That's a pretty cool fountain I got too, but I got to do a repair on it. It's leaking on the bottom, so. Almost got it. We'll just throw that in with the, the manual. It's probably just a spare plug. It's after time, it probably deteriorates. And just a good suggestion, a good uh, tip. That one I've been leaving outside for years, that's why that one's cracked a little bit. I just gotta use some rubber sealer on it, but this one, I'm definitely gonna put this way in the fall before it snows. Yeah, otherwise, just get frozen, this thing could bulge out and crack, and then it's junk after that. You drop it inside. Just, just about that. Go get yourself a drink or something while you're waiting. I'll have this all put together within probably two minutes. Now it's all bolted down. See the little wrench. <coughs> Caps are just going to be... It's going to cover the parts they just screwed Excuse down. Me. There are caps. Uh, damn, it's close. And then just be grunt at the same time. <laughs> Helps a little bit. some water in there so probably I got some dirt I got to throw on there. Let's just get some water in there first. I have to feel I'm gonna throw the dirt back in.
just <laughs> about three inches from the water line. I'm gonna get off some of this grass I got in here today. You know what else I'm going to have to grab? Because I got these all wired in connection, but these ones ain't going to turn on because I'm just going to have to put this one on itself. I've got a remote control to do that. There's just enough water in here. I'm getting close. Probably about this far away from the line. Shut it off, it's getting pretty cool. The water's off. And the grand finale, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I got an optional remote control. Okay. Probably take some time for the water to get up there. What the heck? Are you kidding me? I think this isn't working well. 
There oh, goes. there we go. You see water up here, folks. Okay, now last. Make it a little bit fancier. Rock. You just gonna put this plate in it over here. Just drops in. You're just gonna pour your rocks in. Do something like that. I'm gonna keep the bag so I can store them again for winter. Isn't she a butte clerk? It's kind of really relaxing that sound of the water running. Usually I got all these cords all hidden, but I got to get an adapter so I can put the other one back on. It's, I know it's not safety, but shit, I've had this other pound in here for 10, 12 years. And it's my yard, so that's the way that goes. I'm not a professional. <laughs> professional hillbilly. <laughs> so that about wraps it up for this one. Want to get a cool looking fountain like that? Kind of add some zen to your yard. Go down to Costco, pick yourself up one. 200 bucks plus tax. So that about wraps it up for this adventure's vlog. The adventure was in the front yard this time. Next time it could be on the road, backyard, who knows. But until then, if you like to give it a thumbs up. And it'd be sure nice if some of you guys would not just watch these, but you'd actually subscribe. Then you see more of these and just hit that bell. These vlogs will just keep coming. Plus, I got three other channels. Go on to my thing and scroll down. You'll see the other three. Probably love those ones too. So that's about it for this time. Catch you in the next one. Vlog is over.